So, Humbug was no more, but Trey Red managed to acquire the rights. So a convoluted those, series of events involving those a cat on a roof, a fishing rod, and, uh, <laughs> and a fishmonger's down below. Yeah, that, that sort of happened, yeah. And, and, we, and a bear. Well, he ended up with a bear walking into a shop with a big crisp white fiber saying, ha ha, now for a slap up feed. <laughs> I'm not sure who the bear is, that's the only thing. And then you've done some solo albums for Trey Red since then, which have uh, been pretty well received. Yes. Yeah, they have been well got received some of them, got by some of them all here, the three anyway. people who bought them here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sold no, okay. We've had, we've sold a few, yeah, I know. Spirit Cage, sold okay. Yeah, yeah. And They're nice, comfortable albums. The only one I'm a bit uncomfortable with now is the Light Programme. Which I don't think I have with me. That was, that was the jazz one, wasn't it? That was it? the Ginger Stepchild. Soft, the soft jazz album, yeah. Yeah, which, the Light uh, Programme's the, ste the Ginger yeah. Stepchild, really. Yeah. You know, it really is. But, I mean, there's still a couple of good songs on there. If we ever come to a best of, or I die, you must put um, uh, Jackie on there and maybe Trinity Square. But they're much more like me. But yeah. the thing is, the playing was some of the best... You know, I've got really good musicians on it, so it would be to denigrate the album would be to denigrate the musicians. But your, your musical career has really been pretty varied over the... Yeah. That's one of the things I like about you. Don't, you don't kind of pigeonhole yourself too much. No. You kind of You take little risks and try different things and try and move forward to something that you haven't necessarily done before. When I did um, Summer Tamarind, though, I felt really comfortable with that. Yes, which I was enjoyed, the last album, which I enjoyed came out. every minute of recording it. Came out about a year ago. I yes. liked the songs. Yeah. The songs came out, some of them, while I was writing it. It had more in common with The Greatest Living Englishman than, than any of the others. And I would like to continue in that vein, if I can persuade Carl to do another album with me. Because right. he was great, the guy right. I recorded with. He was really yeah. brilliant. He, I was a little bit unconfident when I went in there. So your, your, your kind of life now is balanced between making some records yeah. every now and again, and then you, you do your poetry. You're yeah, quite prolific at that. I, I write, and I write, so I'm a columnist for the East Anglian Daily Times as well. I, I write on the subject of Essex, which is quite a big deal. It's quite an honour. It means I'm sort of a, yeah. you know, a star columnist for them. And you have a, poet, have, a, have, a, have a poem in the Sunday Express every week? Yeah, and sometimes features. And I increasingly do TV presenting jobs for regional BBC people at, yeah. at, um, at, you know, at Norwich. You're still doing like garden. Alan Partridge. Ah. <laughs> You're still doing gardening sometimes? No, or? no, hardly ever. Although there is a chap in the town where I live, and he's Freud's literary agent. He's not getting any younger. And there's a hedge which is just huge, which I used to do, and he can't get anyone to tackle it. So this week I actually <laughs> did go and do this hedge, and I've, uh -huh. I mean it's about 14, 15 feet, so it's dangerous. Okay. So I've said, can we reduce it to eight? So I'm now working on that, but it's a three or four day job. So before we finish. I think you should do a poem. You okay, I'll try with this. The Vicar Recruitment Rat. You need to look at the camera okay. over there. That camera? C of E, it's the one for me. We're talking three, featuring Trinity. Your mobile cell phone comes for free. It's a friends and family too. A big G. Give me a V, now give me an I. At C A R to the other side. Heaven's Gate is a park and ride. Who do you call when your granny's died? Vicar, say that name with pride. Service time and the bells go clang. It's a happening, a clapping kind of thing. From a warm up prayer in the vestibule to a chilled out church, an ambient yule. The snow be deep, the wind be cruel. The smell of faith is a cool cuckoo. You've got to imagine the jukebox. Give it up, give it up. Fears for vespers, I for an eye. The sermon's hot, but the ink ain't dry for those in peril. On the sea, you who would a pilgrim be, no R and R on the Sabbath day. Can the dude deliver? Yes, way. Believe it. More e vicar, not for me. Except ecclesiastically, in a very real sense. When the work comes in, gotta make that call. Yo, Corinthians, quit it. Paul, P P Father, Son and Ghost. The devil's ill, but he's toast. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. And thank you very much for watching Cherry Red TV.